Hello my friends, this is Jose from Novita and continuing the last video I wanted to do something more. How to introduce these good habits that will keep us happy and focused. So, you know, developing, developing these this habits, these good habits will make it easier to achieve these goals and feeling happier, right? So good habits can also help you to think clearly and solve these problems that you have. Really, everyone will have a day when they can't just do their good habit, right? But it's important to keep trying. Keep in mind when you are trying to build new routines, for example. So, developing these positive habits takes time and practice, okay? It's important to develop a clear plan for what you love to achieve and how you will go about it. This will help you to stay on track and minimize these mistakes. And, you know, you go a long way like this. If you get out of track, it's important to go back on track. So keep trying. It's, it's, it's also important to reward yourself, as I said before, for completing your positive habits. So we, go, we, go, we are going over this in detail. So first thing is make a list of things you are grateful for. And why is this important? Because gratitude is very powerful. It's a very powerful habit that will help us to feel better and be more productive. It helps us to appreciate what we have already, you know, and it makes us want to share our appreciation with others. So this will lead, you know, to stronger relationships and even more success in work and in life generally. I mean, so creating this gratitude list is this great way to remember that little things in our life makes us happy. It's important to not only list the obvious things like good health and roof over our head, but you know, it's important to notice this. It's very important. I mean, we, we could be grateful for having a, a roof over, over our head and having clear water to drink. You know, these small things are easy to forget sometimes, but like a sunny day, uh, but uh, coffee, I mean, but gratitude is, is, is what helps us to get over difficult times. So when you're dealing with financial issues sometimes or health problems, feeling grateful for the positive stuff that you, positive aspects of our life that will help us to, to, to get, to challenge, you know, this perspective and you feel, you, you find these ways to overcome these challenges. So writing down things you are grateful for is okay, but it's also important to think about the things that you are ungrateful for. And why? Because this will help you to determine what things are not helping you and what is holding you back from achieving your goals. So you can focus on the things on your life that make you happy and you know that when these thoughts arrive, that is the thing that you will replace. And don't forget to take, you know, this short breaks. So let's start, for example, with this new re New Year's resolution, because a lot of people do this, and but it's important, you know. Remember that forming, forming, for example, this this bad habits takes time, and this will be anchored in, in us. You didn't form these bad habits from overnight, right? And don't be, you're not able also to break them that quickly. So adopting, for example, this all or nothing mentality is, is wrong. That means focus on developing small successes and you, you will overcome these bad habits. Okay. So how is short breaks coming in? Because I mean, when you take these short breaks, sometimes it's a way to recharge and refresh your mind, your body, your soul, and the key is truly to detach yourself from work because this is a series about working at home, right? But I mean, this is all generally. So use this time to catch up with um, with friends, but not with emails, not with social media if possible, okay? Go for a short walk, spend time with out outdoors, for example, get some fresh air. You can take this time to do something for fun for you and like reading a book or watching 10 minutes of your favorite film or something, a new film, a thriller, something, but 10 minutes and this just distracts you. Or just close your eyes, meditate. 
you know. It's also helpful to identify these people or places and activities that you are that associated sometimes with bad habits and try to avoid this. For example, if you are trying to quit smoking, don't hang out with your friends when they go on smoke breaks, right? If you're trying to eat healthier, avoid fast food. I mean, this is cliche, but it's, it's helpful, you know? So also, take regular walks. Walk outside, this helps you stay healthy and this will also make you feel more energized and focusing at work. I will do this afterwards. So it's important to check in with your feelings. So your interior dialogue, you know, you know, your feelings as you begin to navigate these new habits, you know, and see how they impact you. For example, if you are feeling stressed out at work, for example, meditate, take this short nap or help you relax to disconnect. Okay. The best thing to do is really experiment with different ways that this breaks will, will help you until to find something that works for you. So do something that makes you really happy. It's important to find, you know, something that makes us happy on a regular basis. That means the more you practice this, the more satisfying it will become. For example, if you love music, try to listen to a, a, a song that you like every day or go to a concert once a month or something. Spend time with people who make you feel good. It's also very important to improve this. It's improve, improves your mood. People who spend time with positive friends are happier than those who spend with negative ones. It's clear, right? So taking care of your body is really another important thing that will help you feel happy. For example, getting enough sleep. I know everyone talks about it, but it's, it's important for our physical health, mental health. We have less anxiety, for example, depression, stress. So things that stimulates our brain, for example, such as reading, reading or learning something new, this will increase our happiness. And, you know, the same goes with spending time with friends or share interests. So if you are a person who struggles with depression, anxiety, we all do this from time to time. Consider seeking help from someone professional, okay? It's not just, you're not alone in this. They will teach you the skills to improve this mood or gives you some, some strategies and resources, you know? to express your feelings. So as I said, it's very important to do something that you enjoy. Because when we do something that we enjoy, our brain releases happy hormones. And this helps to reduce stress, increase motivation, improves focus, we have more focus. That's why it's so important to make time for the things we love. As I said, go to a gym, read a book, enjoying coffee. I mean, on a daily basis, take this time. And sometimes we think this is like a waste of time, right? Because we're chattering something, um, but and we have this responsi responsibilities at the same time with work. And But don't give up on these good habits, right? Just because you're not seeing immediate results. So people will spend more time doing what they love, have greater, happier levels, and are more successful in life, more productive, go after their passions. I know it's easy to fall in this trap of unhappiness by focusing on the things that you don't like sometimes or the areas of your life that you are that are out of control right sometimes and you may, you might feel like abandoned or just abandoned or or, or you for example you you are in your soul sucking job sometimes and and you you think you would be happier doing something different traveling on a motorhome or something but just be conscious conscience about it. For example, if we do this and we quit our job, we have to pay our bills, our mortgage, our mortgage uh, and our medical bills and you know, it's a cycle. And to break the cycle is not really easy, but you need to focus on this positive self-talk with yourself. Be realistic about this plan that you want you to, that you will integrate daily. So, introduce these new habits into your daily life. Reserve time for this. I have another video about this. And it takes a while to see them become this part of our routine, right? But the key is to forming this new habit and see these small improvements. You know, one day you will have, you can, first you, you must 
make a list, for example, of these habits, you know, and focus on them. Create your vision board. You know, believe me, this will change your life. And it, you know, one, it will arrive a day then you, that you will leave your job for something that you have created, something that you created out of passion, for example. And be aware that habits are not normally not formed consciously. They are um, sometimes automatic and they are mostly automatic. Without sometimes we don't even realize it sometimes. So, for example, you may you may want to uh, drink this beer after a day, after a day of work. All you drink always a beer or something, and eventually this becomes a habit. If you don't even realize it, so you can make and break free of this kind of habits, for example, by replacing them with other positive behaviors and adding one new behavior to your daily routine or weekly routine is the start. Once you master this habit, you can move on to another one. This will allow you to achieve this long-term success and this will prevent you from feeling overwhelmed because you wanted to change your life, you wanted to do something that you loved, but you start with one small thing, you know, and replace something else, watching TV instead of watching TV, make, start this new project, a blog, anything, you know, instead of eating a cake of ni- a cake, um, slice of cake every every night, eat an apple, for example. So switch, you know, switch. It's important to stop comparing yourself to others. This is a big issue. Because we see others, we see their supposedly success and success it means something different for each of us. So it's my success is not your success and your success is not my success. And you know, instead of focusing on your weaknesses, focus on your strength, you know, and don't compare with others. You know, they are living their life. That this will make a big difference in our lives. Believe me. So I hope this was insightful, this was powerful. Let me know in the comments and, you know, subscribe to our blog, Lovita. I send out once a week powerful stuff. Check out the descriptions with the resources, specific also to this topic. And don't forget to subscribe and stay in touch, okay? And take care of yourself. So bye-bye, until next time.